Yo, yo, good evening, Salty Van What's up? Chad coming in with that like and that share. Amanda coming in with that like. Good evening, good evening. How's everybody doing? So, Jib, thank you for the follow. How are you doing? Oh, sorry, Chad. I was trying to get my damn vape to work. Need a little... Let's be a little biatch. Let's be a little biatch right now. What's up, Chad? How you doing, man? What you up to, brother? Let me guess. Working. Working like a working like a, a true boss. <coughs> oh, with you're not working. Ah shit. <clears throat> the Super Bowl champion, Indianapolis Salty Gamer. I like it. I like it. Ugh. What you got going on tonight, Chad? What you gonna do while you relax and go play any games? I saw in Adam's chat you said you were gonna try to play some games tonight. What you thinking about playing? In the game. Let's go, Madden. No doubt about it now. This guy has to be in the all Madden team. You know, try Fortnite or PUBG? My guy. 
My guy. No, I was looking at my. I was trying to look at my uh, Fortnite KD and everything, man. It's not got all my games and all my wins loaded, bro. It's, it says I've only got one solo win and no duos wins. I should have like five or six duos wins and two or three solo wins. It's kind of bullshit. But I'm a 4.13 KD in Fortnite right now. Over the last seven days, I'm over a 5.0 KD. What is wrong with this fucking vape? Driving me nuts. Is that great? I don't know if that's great or not. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know what a good uh, Fortnite KD is. <coughs> this vape is driving me nuts. One second it wants to hit, and the next minute it doesn't. Oh, and then it causes it to hit too hard. About to, this is going to be a rough game. I play the Bucks. Lucas Oil Stadium in Indiana. That's all right, though. We got home turf. We got home turf. It's a special Saturday night edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Yo, Adam coming in with that heart reaction. We'll see Matt Ryan What's up, dude? Adam How's your head? Head to bed, brother. Have a banger stream. Yo, bro, get some rest, man. I hope your headache goes away. <laughs> Appreciate you, my dude. In the Midwest, so the roof is open, and it's time for football at Lucas Oil Stadium in downtown Indianapolis. Tonight, it's a preseason. Thank you for the double reaction, Bone Hunter Gaming. And the Indianapolis Colts. I certainly do appreciate that. We got to take on the Buccaneers today, chat. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis with you. He's ready for a little bit of Monday Week Night Football tonight. Preseason, and this is the one that the coaches probably what think is pretty valuable, kick? right? Certainly, this is the dress rehearsal. This is the one where your starters are going to play. You might even game plan a little bit more than you do with a normal preseason game. And then you've got to decide, do you bring them back after halftime right. and get them going again? Better kneeling quarter? down, son. So you don't want it. to go when the regular season begins. I'm eager to see how these coaches will handle that. Well, for a little bit, we thought his story had concluded, but not to be. Here's Tom Brady in his God. 23rd NFL 23rd season. 23rd season and his overall is a 97 still. This man is an NFL quarterback legend. They've seen the end of the greatest quarterback career in league history. Of course, there were others who expected Tom Brady to come back, and he did so 40 days later for a 23rd NFL season. Leading the league in completions, yards, and touchdowns at age 44, he showed that he's as good as ever. But of course, losing in the divisional round, not the way he wanted to go out in his final game. For TB12, his Lombardi trophies are bust. Nice job there forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. All right, Salty fam, let's get into it. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. Fucking dove at that dude with a big ass dude, man. He had like a four or 500 pound guy just jump on him. That's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. For a C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going into the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Throwing is Brady on third down. And oh, that nearly an opening drive INT. But yeah, we almost picked that, chat. We almost got a hold of that Not one. the way you wanted to start this ball game as it brings up fourth down. All right, guys, let's get it. Fourth down. So it's a three Jake and out. Marta is out there. Back deep for the Colts, Naheem Hines. Oh, 
Damn. Forty-three yards on the play. <laughs> getting wrapped up like a pretzel. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and ten. Out onto the field comes the Colts offense for their first series, and at quarterback, a new name this year to the franchise, of course, but certainly not new to the league. A 15-year <laughs> vet, former league MVP, Matt Ryan. And I think if there's one quarterback in the league who sometimes gets taken for granted, to me it's Matt Ryan because I think throughout his career he's been consistently excellent. Frequent member of the 4,000 yard. All right, let's see how their run defense better. is. This is what we were doing to the Lions, man. We were just kind of grinding it on them. And yes, he will beat you from the pocket. Hell yeah. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's a little six yard four. gain right off the bat there. First there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. The last run got six, now second and four. Now it's Ryan. Got a man. It's complete to Jelani Woods. Stupid ass. Why'd you go backwards? The completion there. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. He was a third round pick, not rounds one or two, but this franchise, they think he can be something with time. There were a few teams that thought he would go in the first round, late in the first round. He ends up sliding to the third. So a lot Let's of go, Chad. First down. Move those chains. They've got a chance to have a really move good player here if he can develop. They added a lot of talent to a roster that really needed an infusion of youth. They got a very good infusion of youth. And they didn't really reach to get anyone as well. They stuck to their draft philosophy, got the best players they could at the time they were drafting, and inserted them into their lineup. Sit him with a little, sit him with a little bit of mesh spot, chat. Give him a little bit of that mesh spot. They'll throw on first down with Ryan, and he's got the hook up here. It's Woods, and he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. Let's keep it moving, Chad. Let's keep it moving. We're driving on him already. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he's able to get a third and three. Third and three. In the Buccaneer territory. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now, can they get the other three here on third down? Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Well, we're going to try to do a sweep on them. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. Well, this is Ooh. going to depend on the spot, but yeah. it's not a very Fourth generous one. one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. All right, we're going to go for it, Jack. three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going. Let's go. First down, chat. First down. The Colts first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. The fourth down run successful. Now they look we to got it stacked right, but we're running down. left. They run once more with Taylor. A nice run. You gotta get better on our jukes. And it'll be second down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. The last run. Second one, nine, chat. They're definitely gonna expect to run here. We're gonna hit him with a little play action. Well, him with a little play action, chat. Ryan now off the bootleg. And that is incomplete. Man coverage is certainly a staple it. of their defense, and it's built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. Had it. Heavy set out there on third and one. Third and one, chat. Here we go. Up the middle, here's Taylor. Got a flag. I hope it's not holding. He's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Damn it. Asshole. So a decent game there on the play. So we just went from a first down to a third and eight. But all the good play callers, they just move on. They find something else in the playbook. They can attack this defense, and they go right back on the Looking offensive for on this play. On third down, Ryan. Blitz coming. That penalty fucked us. 
Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. The penalty to fucked us, chat. We were driving. Sanchez. Yo, Jason coming in with the like. What up, Jason? A very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Just 21 yards. What's that? And the box will get ready to go on offense. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to. How was your day, Broski? Their second drive. You get your taxes and, and your inventory done. On that first drive, we'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out. And it was a blown opportunity in that game. drive, chat. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves Jack that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. On first and ten, here's Brady. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. Is this dude still up? So no the hell? On the play, and it'll be second down. That was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll get about two there to the 36. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. For the Colts, All right, guys, third and eight. Let's try to stop him here. On third down. Now Brady. Good offensive line. Dude, he had so much time. Ooh. I thought for sure he was going to find somebody open with as much time as he had. Yo, what up, Darwin? Thank you for the like, my man. Jane Camarda sent on now to punt this away. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. It's you know, Shannon coming in with the heart reaction. Thank you very much, Shannon. How are you doing tonight, madam? And they will take over first and 10. The indie offense we actually got pretty good uh, field position go. here, chat. We're already at the 37. Drive going last time, but it stalled out. But still, maybe something positive to carry forward from that last drive. Shannon dropping the 50 bomb. Thank you for the 50 stars, Shannon. Can we get some hashtags? Shannon's rolling in chat for her 50 stars. Into the first quarter, chat. Zero to zero. Good look at what you've done on offense. Noted where the weaknesses are, and you know when you want to come back to them. We did get two stops on him, so. A, B, and C. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. Man first down. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in. All right, guys, let's see what we can do here. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy. There it is. Nice oh, he dropped it, you piece of shit. Complete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. One thing you hope to see out of a Damn, guys. Is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. And he'll be upended at the 33 following uh, a third and three. seven, chat. And guess what? It brings up third down. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? From the gun on third down. Ooh. And that Bad is throw, man. Bad throw. He did everything but hold on to it, but a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. Blankenship's kick is good. That's right. That's right, chat. It's three nothing. Cold strike first. Three zip. 
Let's go. In this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks will tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. I bet he kneels it. really don't want to do that. In that's this up. case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. No return here for Barner. It's a touchback. They'll start at the 25. A reminder, opening weekend definitely in sight now. Thursday, September 8th, that's when it all gets going. The defending champs, L.A. Rams, hosting the team that many think could win the AFC, the Buffalo Bills. Charles and I will be there, and then we got some great matchups on that Sunday. Oh man, I was going for the pick. Arizona Raiders and the Chargers, and on Sunday night, all right, Brady's getting going. We better be careful. And his Bucks are heading to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, "Hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here." And the end result there. Ooh. I bet that hurt, buddy. You might have caught it, but I bet that hurt. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he Dude, I'm fucking throwing blows, chat. Four yards on the pickup there is it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles but when he can make the play himself yeah as we just saw there that's a big day and he is going to have a box first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six and the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath if they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback. Really would have liked to have gotten a stop play. right there. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Brady now on first down. Caught on the right side. By oh, that's Jones. bad, chat. He'll get it inside the 20. And yeah. The Buccaneers touchdown. Julio oh, that's unfortunate. And the Buccaneers have moved out in front. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Extra point up and good. All right, Shaq. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. We got to get it going. We got to get it going. We lost the lead. Now it's Ryan Suckabon after the touchdown to kick it away. Suckabon. What a hell of a name. This will be fielded inside the five. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Now Jonathan Taylor and the Colts offense retake center stage. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being Man. able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space. And just don't get totally away from defense running good. it because some of these runs now they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with the run so far. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now it's Ryan. This will be taken in by Michael. Oh yeah, Jeff. First down. First down. Have a first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We needed that. Well, that's not your standard play call in that third down situation. But for so many offenses, they just want the ball in the hands of their playmakers in open space. And after he caught it, he did a nice job picking Oh, up come on. Down. You got to stay on your feet, broski. Come on, Taylor. And nine. Damn it. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Rolling to his left. He'll take a shot. Yeah, baby. And he'll be marked down right at the 20 yard line. Let's go. First down. He's trying to earn his way into some more looks in the offense once the regular season heats up. If he continues to make plays like that, I think QB1 will look his way a little more often once the regular season begins. Perfect catch, baby. 
So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. This is Taylor. And he gets it. Oh, Chad, let's go. 65 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. He's already got 65 yards, Chad. Who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's punch it in here. Stop moving. They'll run here with Taylor. Damn. And he is going to be stopped up at the line of scrimmage. And we'll have a stoppage as well as we have reached the two-minute warning. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. and a flag looked like one of the Colts linemen might have jumped damn it no jump why is it always on my team spot. maybe try to get a jump start on that route yeah I think you're you exactly freaking right fools and quit it times when you see that that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction all right here we go chat here we go to go catch a pass on second down Ryan there it is touchdown baby again back in front a good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback especially when you're able to create some mismatches sometimes they work against a linebacker sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back but when they find it they go to it and it often results in touchdowns bang bang chat bang bang just like that we got the lead back good and the lead is now 10 to 7 so that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. Yeah, what's up, everybody? Culminates in an Indianapolis touchdown. Throw some comments up in chat. Don't be quiet. Let's get it going, chat. Let's get it popping. Let's get some energy up in here. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. And we will start at the 25 as Barner will not return it. I don't have a 16 bomb on PUBG earlier. What the fuck? And the box set to go of course he to did. Work. He had the touchdown. Pass of course he did. They had it. And they'll start here with a first and 10. To throw it's Brady that's complete to his receiver Godwin and he'll be upended at the 28 yard line just a three yard game there oh shit and he'll just I hit him just as he threw that ball These offensive starters still out there in the second quarter you would think the plans for them to at least play into the third quarter if not all the way through it yeah it might go by feel if they have a really good first drive to start the third quarter they might pick six chad tonight. is that your if prediction not, might leave them out there a little bit longer but i'll guarantee this i know it is tom brady bro and he's fourth and one short. He needed to get to yo the brady three. coming in with a like how you doing tonight madam thank you for that like i appreciate it call it a gain of six on the play and it'll be fourth down I thought maybe oh, they're gonna put it. I'm shocked. Getting that first down, but that's a nice job holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Damn. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it will be first and ten as they take over. The Colts gonna take over now, late in this. All right, chat. Let's see if we can put another one on here. Inside of a minute. Let's see if we can get some more points on the board before we go into the second half. Them. I'm curious to see how they play this, but you would think definitely enough. What's up, Corey? How you doing, my man? Thank you for the wow yeah, reaction. With a nice sense of pace, you want to up the tempo a little bit, but you have to do it with some poise as well. You don't want to go so fast that you hurt yourself into mistakes. There's enough time to put points on the board if they do it right. And even though they have the lead, you know that they would love to extend. Enough credit to how much getting 16 take room. spots or not. Well, certainly gonna be a lot tougher. Got you, got you. Down to that lead now. Doesn't shock me. He dropped that many kills plus. though. Big time. Motherfucker don't even play the drive, game and comes in there and drops that many kills. Let's see what kind of play call they. That's why I always tell you guys I fucking suck. Well, they're in some hot water now after that. Spot. I don't even know what the fran what that means. Is that like? Do you mean like a season, Corey? Now Ryan. 
He's going to float this one deep right side. Remember, I and haven't played Madden in 15 years. So, like, back when I played, it was exhibition season options. That was the shit that we had to deal with. Nowadays, there's all these different freaking options and shit and all these different play modes, career modes, my player modes, franchise modes. back on that one. Weren't able to do so. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. And they're going to take a time on defense. <laughs> Why? So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see Bitches. what happens. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. Yeah, that's basically what it is, but you can play more than one season. Well, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So basically, franchises, you can either be the GM or you can be the player. And it, the seasons continue after you beat one season. What up, Donna? Thank you for the like reaction, madam. I hope you're having a good night so far. Our chat, halftime. We're winning passing and rushing yards so far. But we've only got a three-point lead. And then it all begins. I knew it was going to be a rough game, game against the Buccaneers. The season gets underway on the Thursday after Labor Day with the NFL kickoff game. In our game, expect to see the starters for who you, at least who you rolling one with, more Corey. drive. Something to look forward to as we get you back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's what game. What team did you decide to, to roll with? For quarter number three. Our starters likely to be out there for the third quarter as we get back underway in this second half. The drive will start at the 25. Yeah, which can relocate and manage trainers and coaches, etc. Yeah, you're basically like the front office at the point. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? Well, technically, it's called player. I'm under player mode. That they need to change things. They had me select player. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably. Oh, look at those jukes, baby! I fucking broke two guys' ankles, man. The third one got me. No. We broke two different players' ankles right there. Has been a tough man to bring down all night. On second and a yard, Ryan. That's caught by his tight end, Kylan Granson. Yo, good evening, Piash. Thank you for the heart reaction, my dude. That was a round run, not just with Selfie Thurman in the house. Found the hole in the zone. Made sure the quarterback saw him and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Let's fucking get it, guys. Yo, Chad coming in with the share. First and ten, Taylor now. And they get to yeah, I'm starting to get the jukes down a little bit. To the 46. As we surmise, Charles, most of the starting units still out there for this third quarter. First time this preseason that they played into the second half. And that's by design. Most of the time by this point of the preseason, you want them to go into the half. Well, Corey, you go tell me what team you're playing with, mother... Or am I going to have to jump... Or am I going to have to blue skadoo through this damn PC screen and come out your phone and whoop that ass? Is that what's going to have to happen? You tell me, my man. Play action. It's Ryan. There it is. Oh, you can't drop it. Uh, good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. I am doing well, P.S. Thank you so much for asking. Or, I'm not really asking, but just for saying. For week two of the How are you doing? Week three, oh, I'm a Vikings. What's he okay, at? okay. I, I like the show, like Vikings. Pretty basic stuff, pretty vanilla defenses. You look for guys that play with a band. Defense. Just go Who's out and make plays. Defense. You kind of let I'll their athletic ability too, take here. over in order for you to notice them. All right, chat. We're gonna do a little play action here. They go play action now, Ryan. Damn it. Yeah, he will not be able to hang on through the contact. Fucking defense from Tampa, man. Tampa's got some good defense, Jack. Now it's fourth down. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. No, they did it. I look. Oh, give me the bounce. This is taken around the 12. Sure, you get down. 39 yard punt. Give him nine on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. 
Now this game has oh. obviously been all about the defense on yes, both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Brady now on first down. It's caught by Mike Evans. Gotta give him credit, man. I hit him hard, man. He held on to it. Turn it loose, and boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. To throw again on second down. Brady Ooh. throwing over the Brady recognized that blitz, man. He recognized it. Had no man that time and ended up putting a little too much heat on it. Don't you think, partner? Well, he almost made me pay for that, chat. Third and five. Let's get stopped. Nice! The pass rush made him rush. Let's go! How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Good three and out, Coles. So Good three and out. To punt on fourth as this one's away. Damn. Nice we almost got it. Teams. We almost got up into our side. That was a good return right there, Jack. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Ah! That's right not how. That is not where I wanted him to go, Chad. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain? That's not what I wanted him to do. Position. Come on. And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Looking for Campbell downfield. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. That was pretty nice to watch as he matched the route with the receiver and stayed right there, stuck to him like glue. Almost hip to hip, shoulder to shoulder. Helped force the incompletion. That All right, chat. Third and nine. Down. That'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Out of the gun. It's Ryan being chased out left. Let's go! The one, fourth and one. I just got fucking dicked. Come on. That was a first down, baby. Move those chains. We're going for it, chat. We're going for it. They'll run for it. It's Taylor. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short. And he didn't get there. Bullshit! The unable to convert him. Oh, I'm challenging that shit. Frank Reich, not so sure about that last call. He's going to go. My forward momentum should have had that, man. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. I should have challenged the slide. Damn it. So that challenge that's not successful bullshit. there, and that's going to cost him the first of his timeouts. That's the some Fox bullshit, Chad. Set to begin their next possession. This is caught by Evans. That could be the play of the game right there. That could literally be the play of the game. Way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. That could be the game, the play that changes the whole direction of the second half, Chat. That was unfortunate. Inside handoff now to Fournette. Yo, somebody turn around and hit this man. Before they're inside the 25. A good gain again. That's now 30 yards combined on those last two plays. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll run it again with Fournette. And that time, Mitch. Maybe a yard down to the 23. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, well, you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level. Make sure they got some tricky some ass plays, man. And try and chip someone at the second I level. will say that, man. Tom Brady is fucking tricky. Brady going to try and throw on third down. And that is incomplete. Ooh, we stopped them, chat. We stopped them. With him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. 
Suckup's kick is good. And that will knot us up at 10. Tie game, guys. 10 to 10. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no win, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. Now a hit. Oh, no! And it's picked up by the Are you kidding me? Turns it to the end zone. A fumble recovery touchdown for the Bucs. So problems here on special teams, and it results in the scoop and the score. They talk all the time on special teams about keeping your head on a swivel, trying to see the whole field. Hard to do when things are going that fast, bodies all over the place. You're just trying to find the right guy to align yourself with. On that play, wow. Fuck me, man. That is unfortunate, guys. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this oh, just to make sure that they have it right. Oh, they're reviewing it. Now the question was... The oh, he was down. down I think he was down. Loose, and is the video convincing enough to overturn he's it? Down. He's down. Remember, he's down. He's down, chat. I think, he's, I think, I think it wasn't a fumble. This is a tough one to overturn. I don't think it was a fumble. come to the line ready to start their next drive and a short pickup to about the 25 give credit to the defense for stringing that hell yeah guys and they gave Ooh, no we got lucky you know he was trying to we got lucky no place for him to go a nice job there only giving up a three-yard game and from the 25 they worked this to the 29 a gain of four on any running play this call, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball. Why didn't you stop and turn around, bro? You didn't even run the play. Defense back on its heels. Oh, my God. He didn't even run the fucking play, bro. He never stopped and came back. But it does bring up fourth down. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez. He never ran the play. As he's on to punt for the wow. fourth time tonight. It's a 39 yard Our punt. offense is running like shit. Return. Running like and shit, guys. This is why we're not playing now. online yet. My offense is shit. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Yeah, baby! Minus nine yards on the play, and now it's third down. A fucking hell of a sack right there. Oh man, the end of the third, chat. Into the third, going players. into the fourth, tie and game. For the end of the third quarter, you're watching preseason football on EA Sports. The offense on third down tonight, they've had their troubles. Just third and 15, six. chat. We got to hold them. Third and 15. Yes! Sister Russell Gage. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now. As he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And this has been a hell of a defensive game. He gets this one away. It's a 41-yard punt, but just a net of 31 following the run back. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. A first throw for the backup Foles. 
Over the middle, into the hands of Woods. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch. All right, guys. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. First down, baby. First down. Three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. There's Foles. This pass caught. It's Woods. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the four. Here we go, baby. Here we go. 23-yard pass. We're moving those chains now. Continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. They run with Hines. And he gets it down a yard or two. Ooh, we got lucky to stay up. We got lucky to stay up as long as we did there. It's just the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Second down, right back to Hines. There we go, baby. First down, we move in the chains. That's what we wanted, Chad. That's what we wanted. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Damn. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. But that's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around. Well, the way he threw that was weird. Scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. Let's but see. in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Foles. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Partner, for once in my That's life, right. I'll be succinct. In a one possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. All right, guys, third and 12. We've got to make this. We've got to make this. We've got to make this. This is an important one. All right, Chad, here we go. Now Foles. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. That's not what I wanted to happen there. Like any team I had nobody open. To try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least. If they think a field goal Lock. turns out to be the better call here. I missed that. I missed. I just choked it. Oh no! Nope, never had a chance. I just fucking choked. The right, no good, and a costly win there as this game remains tied here in the. Floor. Wow, chat. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. Their defense was able to hold serve, albeit with a little help from that missed field goal as they wow. settle in now first and ten. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. I don't know what this says totally about me, but I love that. successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go. Fumble recovery, let's hope. The thing of beauty. Let's hope. End up getting just a yard out of it, and that'll bring up second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the Let's defense. Let's hope. We uh, well just put ourselves in a bad position. Route. And he ran a little shallower 
We basically got Brady in a two-minute drill. Let's go! talk about defenders specifically oh, linebackers guys. keeping their eyes in the right spot he had that eye down the entire time and you know that's not we gotta get some pressure on brady they throw a lot of misdirection at you they try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place no damn it guys they figured that one out and made a really nice play First this is bad. In this game, this is bad, chat. The first. I this think is looking bad. For first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. Yeah! He yeah! Throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. That second 22 chat second sack. 22 a minute 59 to go in this game tied to the 10 down and 22 yards to go Ooh. Yeah, this throw incomplete. yo bobby coming in with the like what's up bobby it's gonna lead to third down back to back big plays defensively first the sack now they force the incompletion on third and long things looking pretty good for them and this is where they have to be careful because they've got the momentum going their way. They will be really amped up to get to the quarterback. Look out. Draw, screen, something that can be used against them. He's going to have the hook up to Gage. Fourth and 15, and baby. Able to take it across midfield before Should be a punt. Should be a punt. There's no so way the they're going to take the, the, the risk. There. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. Yo, Bobby, thank you for the double reaction. I do appreciate that, Mr. That's Bobby Drake. Come on to kick for a six time tonight. Another great Facebook streamer. Very, very entertaining chat. Very, very entertaining. This is going to work out well as it's out of bounds near the 13-yard line. So they accept of course. The course and push the offense backwards a bit. Of course my dumbass team gets a penalty, making it even worse on us. Of course they do. Why not? Why not, guys? Now it's Hines. But that's not going to help the cause as he stops short of a 10. The clock still runs. We're at 90 seconds now. On second and seven, Foles. Like a receiver didn't even try to go for it. He was playing more defense than he was anything, you freaking idiot. Those are the ones you really hope your guys ah. Yeah, you don't want your guy to be able to take the out because it was a tough catch. You needed him to come up with that one because if he does, it alters the perspective of this two-minute drill, doesn't it? He'll buy some time right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. Out of bounds. Damn. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Well, the defense certainly did its job. They held up in that We're situation. We're still in a bad spot. You've got to punt this and try to get to overtime. There's no decision to be made in my estimation. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And not his best. What is that? This one's going to be spotted down just outside of the 40 yard line. So out come the Bucks now. They're on the outskirts of field goal range here in a tie game with a little time. So how do you handle this? What, what do you do here, Charles? Everybody wants to pick up as much yardage as possible. But the weird part is for field goal. The X was open. I certainly didn't see it, my man. Really close sometimes puts more pressure on them because it's much more of a position kick as opposed to just going ahead and letting it out and letting it thump. A lot of guys like a little bit of distance because you know they can handle it and it's a more natural swing of the leg. So maybe getting inside the 20, not that big of a deal. Not that huge of a deal. Sometimes that messes you up with the angles depending on which hash mark you're kicking from. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts. As he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to yeah, go. Yeah, we're going to lose this game, chat. I made a couple big mistakes in this game. They'll try and run for it with Vol There's game right there. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. As the clock will stop with Plays 37 like shit. seconds to play. 
I played like shit. I deserve to lose this game. Vaughn on first and ten. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Why are you guys calling timeout? That doesn't even make sense. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. That doesn't even make sense for them to be calling timeouts. to go in the football game. Second down, it's Vaughn. And able to get him down. I think they just want to fucking run the five. score up on me. The Bucks gonna go ahead fucking and use bitches. the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one. They're not gonna throw the ball. They're not gonna quarter throw quarter the ball, five. my man. That'd be stupid of them. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. On the ground with Vaughn. And that's a touchdown as they broke in our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. Some good running there at the end of the drive. Even if I would have let him score, Bobby, I would have got the ball back with no timeouts. And the defense that the Bucks are playing me with, I'm not good enough yet. There wouldn't have been anything I could have done. But they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard charging. Like, I'm not going to tie this game up. And let him cap things off. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. The decade of not playing Madden showed in this game. I literally played like trash this whole game. Indianapolis set to take the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles. Because I don't even like this playbook. At times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense... Way to go, 79! Why'd you just let go of him and let him run into me, you fucking fat piece of shit? He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Fucking thing, God. Horrible fucking man. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Oh, shut yeah, up. Effort. That was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Shut Couldn't the fuck done, up. I don't want to hear nice your bullshit. Overall. So that'll just about do it for Charles this fat tub of lard. Get Garden. your fat ass off the, the screen. NFL, Audie Sports. Fucking for stomach more. hanging down his goddamn kneecaps. With that, we say good night, everybody. Yeah, get off the fucking field, you fucking losers. Y'all fucking suck this game, you little digital Indianapolis Colts sons of bitches. Go put your all's head in the freaking Gatorade fucking canister, because y'all suck! None of y'all deserve to be upgraded. None of y'all. I don't know why you got upgraded, because you suck. <laughs> Shut up, Bobby. <laughs> Why do I got to cut players? Do it your damn self. Sim to mid-season. What? Bang, bang. All right. Are you over there? Is it that funny listening to me talk shit about these assholes? They piss me off, man. <laughs> I don't like to lose, man. I don't, especially to the freaking computer. I mean, come on. <laughs> All right, Chad said I'm at a full tip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, he gave me a nine. He gave me nine salt shakers. He says I'm in a nine out of ten right now. I might make a clip of this. You better fucking not. <laughs> God. Today, from 
NRG Stadium <laughs> in Houston, Texas. You stupid little assholes. It's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. I should have just ran the ball when I had that, that last possession to where he, they wouldn't have got the ball back at all, to where they wouldn't have had a chance to get that freaking field goal or touchdown. Like I said, I made too many mistakes in that game. I deserve to lose. All right, but now that was just preseason, chat. It was just preseason. We're in the se season now. And we are Let's get it. Away from NRG Stadium in Houston. Shut up, Bobby. Take it in at Shut the up. Three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. If I lose to him, I might, lose, I might unfollow myself. As Indy's offense takes the field for the first time, we take a look at Matt Ryan, top 10 all time. Yeah, your overall went down because you suck. You were in 82. Why did it go down? Because you blew that game. Because you're ugly. Look at you. But for him especially, he wants to start this new season off strong. He's got big plans for this year. Wants it to be one where he finishes among the league's best while leading his team to the postseason. He ain't gonna leave nobody to shit. The choke artist. And can create momentum that carries over not just to next week, but the next few weeks as well. A rising tide raises all ships. And if he can start the season off strong, his offense will benefit. The game's first play produces. Let's six go. Yards, Let's go. Brings up second down. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Sliding out of the pocket. That's caught by the tight end Branson. Let's do a little dance. Well Did a little dance. Field before being stopped just before the 35. Oh yeah. Oh. A gain there of 30 big ones. Execution. Oh, get your big ass. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I didn't tell you to do a dance like that. Here on this opening drive. So how about that? His ass should not have done that. All the way down the inside the 40 now for first and 10. Running left, Taylor. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the third. All right, all right, all right. We, 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 we moving the ball this time. Pick up and it gets him to second. We're getting a little bit of movement going. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Move it. Uh -oh. Again, it's Taylor. Get off me, man. That man grabbed my butt. He tackled me because he touched my butt and it scared me. I thought this man was starting to touch a little bit lower. Get it. That's right, Jeff. First down. First down. First down. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs. Second inches. I got your inches right here, up. mother. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And oh. left with a second and about a foot. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. On second down, it's Taylor. And he'll the get salt is the strong in this line. one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The, the force of the salt is with me. Down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it That's why you follow me, my man. That's why you follow me. Up the first down. You know the football was going to bring the salt. You knew it. They go play action with Ryan. Out to his left. <laughs> He'll get eight I, it was there. telling me to slide. I was like, nah, fuck that. And we got to go Superman and through this biatch. That dive he did was hysterical. Instinct and a knack for knowing when exactly to do it. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown. Spike that. Ooh. Jonathan Taylor. Let's go. First Let's go. Out of the year. And the Colts are on the board here first in the season opener. 
And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. That's right, we end it with a touchdown. That's the only thing we know how to end it with, Chad. ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal. They've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Thank you for the clip, Chad. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. That's right, Sanchez. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. As the Texans offense runs out, we get a peek at the man under center. It was a good start to our season right there, Chad. It was a good start to our season. Seven and out, baby. Houston Texans quarterback Davis Mills. He deserves a lot more credit than he got for leading a bad team last season. <laughs> for leading a bad team last season. Damn, that announcer straight was talking mad trash about their team. Four 300-yard games from him. He led Houston to a big upset of the Chargers to help keep L.A. out of the playoffs. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right Damn, here. that man had a beard like Santa. Possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two. At first, I thought he had a face give mask on. Chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's Mac to get it again on. Get down. Sit down. Gain here, maybe Sit down. Shit. Watch this. I just came up to him and they pushed him. I was like, get out. Like, Fuck you think you're going. Where you going, son? Sit down. They are in need of six yards here. Not nap town. Not nap town. On third down. Oh, I'm coming! Oh, I missed! Damn it! Damn! Damn! Ah! The first throw of the new season. He's dreamed about it, thought about it, and now it's out of the way. Now one for one. A lot more to go. Get his ass! Now a first down run. It's going nowhere. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. A loss of two. Ah! I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it, move it. Negative yardage. Here's Mac to get it again on. Yo, you guys better give that shit up. That ain't working. I'm like the kid made my tempo with this bitch. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. Looking to throw his mills. No fucking way! No fucking way that just happened, Chad! Ah! Oh! Position there, a nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Only in my games, guys. Only in my games do you see some shit like that happen. First and ten. They'll run the jet sweep now. Rogers. Give them maybe a yard. Quite the opposite from the previous. Who's ready for Toxic later. Tuesday on Warzone in the morning? This one's succinct. Nice Y'all ready to there. really watch me flip my shit? Defense, diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. 53, check 53. This a give to Mac running to the right. And he'll go down. I know Sir Bobby likes Toxic block. Tuesdays. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Oh, it's going, Shane. I lost my first game. After one lost my first game. I'm winning the second game, though. Sports. The 12. Oh, I've been dropping the salt. They keep it on the ground. Mac again. The salt has been strong. Way down right around the 12. Just a yard on the first down carry. So it's second and nine. A 
A run up the middle with Mac. Okay, he's just gonna stumble for seven yards. Dude, literally just stumbled for seven yards, guys. There's seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. Mills to throw it. And he's gonna be taken down, sacked back around the 18 yard line. DeForest. That's right, chat. We got to stop. The former number seven overall pick. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Fairbairn able to put this one through. All right, chat, we held him to three. We held him to three. It's seven to three. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. We'll remind you that coming up tonight, the first Sunday nighter of the new season. And how about this for a matchup? The Buccaneers and the Cowboys from Dallas. Ooh, 8 Buccaneers and Cowboys. And tomorrow, Monday night, just one game here in week one this year. And it'll pit the Broncos and Seahawks as Russell Wilson makes his Bronco debut. And a quick three yards, Wilson, Jack. Quick three yards. Seattle. Coincidence? We'll let you decide. Second seven. A gain of three, second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second and seven, Ryan. To the right side and into the hands of the team. got a whole fucking Branson. yard out of that. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup play on play first play. down. Gardner took a while for him to lock onto a receiver, and he finally found his man coming left to right across the formation. But by the time he got the ball to him, not much of a chance to turn up field and make anything out of it. Now he'll let it go deep down the left sideline. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game. Santa Claus over there. Defense. They came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known the points won't come so easy again. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is set away. Damn, that dude's a beast! The one guy came diving at him, he fucking just bitched him and then started to go through the other guy. The hell, man. drive of the ball game. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons. I don't like that they make me select that shit every fucking time. I don't want to select that shit every single time. I'm gonna figure out how to turn that crap off. Division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year. That's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. I need to figure out how to get rid of this shit. I'm sick of that. Settings. The hell is this stuff? Menu narration option is set to off. What the hell? Menu narration option is set to off. Entering settings screen, you have 20 options. Menu narration option is set to off is selected. Shut up, weirdo. That sucks. I can't turn that off. A great game to sell right out of the gate. <clears throat> All right, guys, let's keep it going. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Go, go, go. 
Mills. Throw left side complete. That's Fourth to one, chat. We did stop them. They might go for it, though, but I doubt it. Brought down there. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. And the Colts coming out now. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Play action. Ryan. There it is, chat. Finds his go, 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 you big cuts. slow motherfucker. They got it well across Damn, the man. We had a nice little catch there. The open done. field. He just the had no speed. Pays off to the tune of 35 yards. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you. Thank you for that clip, Chad. You got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. And that's caught left side by Mo Ali Cox. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. So the completion good for just three. And that'll bring up fourth down. We're going for it, chat. Try to punch it in with Taylor. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one good for 17 yards on fourth. Couldn't ask for much more from your offense there. First down. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right? Touchdown, baby! Let's go! We just took it all the way in with the quarterback, chat. Touchdown run. And the Colts are for six so a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one yeah all the things that you dreamed about in april and may and that you worked on in july and august getting ready for this game it's all coming together so far extra point by blanket ship is up and yeah what's up miss kayla thank you for that heart reaction madam Sanchez now he'll kick it away following the touchdown fielded just outside the goal line and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line and the football going back over now to the Houston Texans and Charles we'll see what they can do here not a ton of time left but enough certainly to get points out of this drive and they need them right now because they're trailing yeah this is exactly why you practice a two minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game a minute left more than enough time to string a few completions together reach the end zone and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little oh. more animated a first down throw for Mills got his man complete over the middle it's Jordan so the completion results there in nine yards. I'm having the same issue Adam was having. I've got a headache tonight. And that throw behind his man. Go ahead. He missed him. Sign his headache. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not pop. allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, day. another incompletion. <clears throat> they 
tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now Mills. Oh, you big fat piece of shit! Going on this drive. Looks like that was an easy pick. CD. That was and an right easy now, pick six. Just screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. Rogers on the return. And that'll be a return of 12. All right, Chad, we got 54 nice seconds. Run. Let's see if and we can move into field goal range at least. Here, first and 10. Here comes Jonathan Tanner and his teammates. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys <laughs> have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Meanwhile, Ryan's throw pulled in by Woods. Gotta make it out of bounds, bro. Get this one across the 35. On first and 10, it's Ryan. Looking for Woods again, and he finds him. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his All right, guys. Much more we need about catch, two more good catches, and we'll be in uh, field goal range. From the 44, Ryan. There's one. Oh! That's oh! Caught by Allie Cox. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts. Allie Cox! They'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. The See if I can catch him off guard with the 10. run here, chat. They give the Taylor out of the gun. Okay, and right. a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Off the play fake. Here's Ryan. And nice hit. That guy batted it right out of his hands. I watched him do it. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion wise way up. Not that time. They need to get this to the 24 on third. We got 16 down. seconds left in the half, chat. Now it's Ryan. They'll roll him out right. Oh, fuck, man. With 11 seconds remaining now. So Ryan heads to the sideline, and out now is Rodrigo Blankenship for the Indianapolis field goal try. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. And his kick is good. Didn't hit it all that Ooh. well, but he got enough on it to put it through. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. to three. Oh, man, we barely made that. We barely so made that. Before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal. Not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Take it in at the three. Oh man! And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. What was for dinner tonight, chat? What everybody eat? I have pizza. That means some Pizza Hut. I blame it on Corey last night talking about Pizza Hut. Corey was talking about Pizza Hut last night, so I got me some Pizza Hut tonight. It was good, too. So I'm not going to lie. That was a good pizza. On opening weekend, as we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll get started up at FedEx Field in our nation's capital. And that one just before halftime with the Jaguars out on top. A touchdown pass for Trevor Lawrence. From there, we'll head down to Charlotte to check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. And for the moment, chips and salsa. That was your dinner, Chad. That That's not very Two nutritional. Passes there for Deshaun Watson. Finally, we're off to Atlanta. Well, this check is a pretty Falcons sick halftime show. Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And for the moment, they trail the visiting Saints in that one. 
a touchdown pass there for Jameis Winston. In our game, it was the former MVP, Matt Ryan, with a strong first half. His guys have a two-touchdown lead as we hand it back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Look at that catch. That was some bullshit. All right, Coach. Thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter. Just a reminder, chat, if you are new to the stream or if you haven't done so already, please make sure you are smacking those reaction buttons. It is a completely free way to help support myself, the stream, and grow the community. We'll see if week one and as always, I thank you all for tuning in and hanging out with me. I hope you all are having a great night. Half. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. That's right, son. You got blasted. But the Texans getting ready to go here to begin. All right, Chad. It was a good quarter. defensive first half. We held them to three points. Got a 17 to 3 lead coming into the second half. Got a two touchdown lead. Let's get it. Get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here. Oh, look at that. He was wide I'm open and sure dropped it. What a loser. What a loser, Chad. You suck. You suck. Yo, Cody coming in with that heart reaction. What's up, dude? The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground. What's up, mother? And maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. They get six. I know you see it. I know you see it. To throw Mills. This to the outside for Mac. I was like, he's, eating, 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 he's chewing on them like a piece of bubble gum. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Get that motherfucker. Mills hit and he loses the ball. Oh man. Come on. Fortunate get, that get that ball back is trailing it's here like get that motherfucker was to lose the possession <laughs> and the word i think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there their chance to score points but the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession 53, 53, check 53. on second down here's a run with i didn't Matt. expect that and he'll work this one up to about the 38 It'll be a gain of about five, but they're left with a third and still about 12 to go. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor. Is Chad the only one that ate anything tonight, Chad? Nobody else ate anything for dinner? Here's Mills. We got that's seven of you in here. Nobody else ate dinner? Come on, Chad. Come on, what'd you guys eat for dinner? So Don't be shy. Here to start the third quarter. Already two scores down. Got to be careful. Yeah, I did notice though that the captain of the defense patted the quarterback on the helmet on his way out, pretty much letting him know we know the pressure's on us. We're gonna go out there and try and hold serve for you while you figure it out over here on the sidelines. On is the punter Johnston now as he sends this one away. A punt of 46, a return of five. And they will take over first and ten. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. All right, half. guys. Let's see how we start the second half. Ryan and the Colts getting set here first and ten at their own 17-yard line. They'll start with a give to Taylor. Ah, come on, number 80. Loose yardage here. Derek Stingley, he got there the moron. in a hurry, and he earns the TFL. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the reason. Come on, boys! What are you doing? Fuck! Give me some goddamn protection! to pick up the sack. This defense coming out after the half, and if that plays any indicator, Charles, maybe a little refreshed and refocused here for quarter What the assholes, four. man? Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game. He's gonna fire nice fucking catch, bro! One hand, let's go! He's taken down. First down! Defensively, that was third and a bundle. But they allow the conversion. Watch this catch, chat. Like this defense found the magic elixir at halftime. Look at this that. defense was Bang. in the first half. Uh, continued here in the third quarter. Another big play right there. 
Big motherfucking play. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And nothing it was a nice clip, wasn't it, Chad? That was a good catch line. by that guy. A couple and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defense in front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find. Oh, damn! Took a shot, couldn't connect. Almost, guys. Pat has been excellent today, but not on that snap. I think he was asking just a little too much as he extended that play, hoping for one more completion with it. So the failure to connect on second. All right, here we go. Here we go. Staring up here at a third and eight. Now Ryan. No! Oh, that was so close. So close. Incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. As Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. 39 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Texans just a little bit overthrown, Chad. Just a smidge territory. overthrown, man. That was a touchdown, too. To I think that would have been a touchdown, bro. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Kids no doubt. Point right there. Yeah, it was so close to being a touchdown. To start out. That leads to a second and 11. Throwing Mills. Get his ass. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. DeForest Buckner in there to get him once again. That's two sacks for him now here on opening day. Well, it was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. So now after the sack, Mills and the Texans needing to navigate a third and long. Out of the gun now on third down. Over the middle complete. That's Damn, right. man. We had him at third and 17 and let him get that. Down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's a much needed completion right there on third down. Really a sigh of relief, isn't it? They're backed up deep. You know they don't want to give the ball back to the other guys. A great field position. They needed that throw, that completion, that first down. On first and 10, Mills. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. Now he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45 yard line. A good pick up there, 21 yards. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive. All right, Chad, they're trying to push on me. Mills on first down. Got his ass again! And he'll be brought down by the Colts. <laughs> DeForest Buckner getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Well, this has to count as a great team effort. Fucking today, mowed that guy man, over, Chad. I mowed him over. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. Now a toss left side into the hands. Yo, I plowed that guy again. I almost got the quarterback again. Look at that. I'm glad I missed. I probably would have got a penalty. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Mills now. And this is going to be incomplete. Fourth and five, baby. Fourth and five, baby. Continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Give me that ball. Like Give me that ball. Totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball, like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems. What was over. that? 
out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. God damn it, man. That flag accepted, and it backs the I'm at the one-yard line. Wow. Fuck me. That would give to Taylor. And they'll get him down up past the 15. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with That's more right, after chat. this 17 break. to 3, baby. watching the NFL on EA Sports. to Taylor on first down. Oh, man, we almost did it. We almost shipped both of them, man. got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the Move those chains. Move those chains. Move those chains. Let's get it. I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put away drive. That's you what it is. Here, that might put this one to bed. A put away drive. I like it. And not playing with fear. I like it, Chad. I like it. Before he takes it across the 40 yard line. 84 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Solid too late. On the handoff, this is Taylor. And he'll be taken down. Damn, I fell for the first down. Let's go! I turned that shit into I turned nothing into something there. 110 percent The carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on Ooh, the we broke his ankles, baby. Because you're gonna tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not gonna throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And they're gonna speed things up here. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Steps away. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Touchdown, baby. Let's go. Let's get it, chat. are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It certainly is. Any road win in the NFL? It's a great road win. I mean, it just does Thank you for that clip, Chad. I appreciate you, my man. In this particular situation, how great will they feel? I don't even really have to ask no more, man. I know you're on top of it. I know you got me. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And the lead down at three. This game's over now. This game's over. We just put it away right there. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. I kicked that bitch all the way out of the end zone. Over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Houston set to take Well, you do a very good job, Chad. You do a very good job. The showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. So these fans just kind of beside themselves right now. Mills now looks to throw on first down. Throw complete there, Rodgers. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant, 
A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Man, their Nathan offensive Green line was not right letting me through the there. 40-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. From the gun, here's Mills. And the throw left sideline here Pick is six maybe to end it. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take Couldn't it. Keep his feet in. Second down. They lead big. If that's what happens. I'm all for it. It's been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Mills throw taken in by Collins. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 39. A good pick up there at 22. Come on, guys. My defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through. Nice! My rifle's one, and that's going to be There it is, Chad! There it is, Chad! Skirts by him at the 30. Oh, no! As he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Charles, the first interception. Doing the robot. Look at him. Two. Let's go. It's just the first one, but didn't it feel like what we saw from him last year, where he was plagued by this type of a play? I and thought we were going to return that, it all the way. The quarterback the stopped season, us, though. Going into a second season, some of that would go away. Thus far, still looks a lot like his rookie year. And only a yard this time as he's They saved that. I'll give him credit. Sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack. Holding yeah, you almost called it, buddy. Their battles at the line of scrimmage left him no space to try and run. You almost really called nice that. Job swarming to the ball carrier. Second down, another run with Taylor. Great move, but still wrangled before reaching the 20. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. They go play action now. Ryan. He's got his man. That's Woods on the out route. I had to throw it real quick. That guy was coming up on me. Call it a loss of two there on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one sided affair. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. Blankenship's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Twenty-seven to three right now, chat. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need. I think this has been a pretty points, dominant performance on day uh, what season week yeah, one. Week one. Up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here. Is what do you think, Chad? You think they can score 24 the points Texans in a minute, 56 seconds? Down, they get set to head back <laughs> onto the field. But probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too good as ass. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, oh, shit. I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Nico Collins, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. The Abelman. Operating from the gun. Mills. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. There it is. For Cooks and it's intercepted. There it is, Chad. By Darius Leonard, the linebacker. The 30. And he will not get all the way home. 
but he will take this back down to about the two yard line. I did that on purpose, just so we're, just so you're clear. As a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Brian wants to throw it. And give him another six. There's a touchdown, baby. Touchdown, and the blowout continues. Well, Charles, no matter what the prognosticators say before the season, whether yeah, I was trying to play uh, with the stick a little bit, Chad, and learn like the different types of like celebrations you could do. He didn't do exactly what I would have liked him to have done, obviously. I wanted him to long leg. And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review. And this being inside two minutes of play, everything coming from up above. Oh, that's a touchdown. I'm not worried about it. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. Yeah, what's up, yeah, Salty bro? How you doing tonight, Josh? Thank you for the heart reaction, my man. Getting down in bounds. That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. That's right, it's a touchdown. So they call That's it a right. touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point by Blake. Just in time to watch uh, the end of week one, one blowout. On the Texans just got smacked up. What's going on, everybody? Thank you all for tuning in. Welcome to the saltiest channel on the internet. Now, he'll kick it away, Not all the touchdown. time, though, but I do have my moments. I do have my moments of salt. The drive will start Viewer discretion is devised. Rodgers will not return it. The Texans back out there and ready to go. They have a little bit of How's your night been, Josh? What you been up to, buddy? And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. They go back to the air here. I the fucking end. nailed that quarterback. Not too bad at work at the moment. I see you're kicking ass. Oh, yeah. I lost to the Bucks before this, though. The last game of the preseason, I lost. Uh, but yeah, I'm destroying the Texans. I didn't play very good against the Bucks. The Bucks had really good defense, and my offense was shit. Dude, I've got so many sacks with that guy right now. Dude, I'm sorry to hear you're at work right now, man. That sucks, bro. You and Adam are always at work, I swear. Mills and the Texans needing to navigate a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. At this point in the game, they've got Yo, I'm timing that fucking hit good on the offensive line. Even though this one feels like a lost cause. Like, I was knocking so his ass down almost every single time. This one's away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. Ryan's gonna throw it. Looking for Campbell down. There it is! There it is! Oh! Damn it! I wanted the touchdown! No! <laughs> GG's chat. GG's. I was trying to get that touchdown. Brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one and to come through where they won uh, yeah Bucks defense is solid yeah it blows I'm, I'm here till one well at least you only got about an hour and 43 minutes left Josh at least you don't got too much longer and you open within the division what all do you uh got to do when you're at work what, what is like your uh your routine what do you do 
So for the you're Colts, out there getting your hands dirty. What, I mean, what are you doing? They roll to a blowout victory here in the season opener. And I know you work on the machines for sure. Because they had to Jacksonville to take on the Jaguars. That I've kind of figured Meanwhile, out and deciphered just from listening to you guys they talk. They obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel to Denver to take on the Broncos. And for Charles All right, so we won 34 to 3, chat. We scored 17 points in the first the quarter. NFL wow. Uh, we had 385 yards to 196 of theirs. So we won rushing by far. We held them to 20 rush yards. 14 for first downs, uh, zero turnovers. Our third down conversions we really need to work on. We were two out of seven. Red zone, three out of four, three touchdowns. One penalty. Not bad, Chad. Not bad. I'd say that was a solid game. I'd say that was a solid game right there. I would say that was a solid game. This is the player card. Here you can see your strengths and weaknesses by looking at your archetype ratings. This is the development trait. Superstar and Superstar X Factor players will progress faster over time. Players can improve their development trait by being one of the top performers in the league at their position. Here are a player's motivations. How well your team aligns with each player's motivations will determine how interested that player is in re-signing with your team or joining your team as a free agent. This is the abilities tab. Fuck. Here you can see what abilities a player a has lot. and what effects they have in game. Abilities are available to both superstar and superstar X Factor players. Unlock this player has a zone ability. This is a powerful ability that can be activated when the player completes in-game objectives. Only X Factor players have zone abilities. That was a lot. We have to bring some of the cows to the robots so they can be milked and then basically just check on all of them, making sure that they have food and whatnot. So basically you got to kind of herd them into, into the robot area, I'm assuming, and make sure they all get like hooked up. Got you, got you. It'd be such an interesting job to learn. It would be so different for someone like me. It would be so different. It would be so different. Ah, uh, all right, guys. That is gonna be it for me tonight. Oh, that is gonna be it for me tonight. I went one and one, uh, but we are one and zero oh on the NFL season now. Um, I think I said we played Jacksonville in week two. I think we gotta play Jacksonville in week two. Uh, but I will be back bright and early tomorrow with Toxic Tuesday, episode number five. My plan for tomorrow on Toxic Tuesday is we're going to, I'm just going to be super toxic, but I'm going to try to get some good kills out of it too. So we're going to use the riot shield. We're going to ditch the sides. We're going to use a, a Milano with a medium range build on it. Um, we're going to use some stuns and we're going to use throwing knives. So that's going to be the, the, the game plan for Toxic Tuesday tomorrow. We'll see how, uh, how many pissed off, death comms we can get people get so mad when they get killed by a riot shield especially when we assassinate them and we're going to use the snoop dog character because it's just hilarious listening to snoop dog talk trash to people all day long yep some of the cows are smart and go in on their own but most need human assistance man could you imagine me out there trying to herd some cows into these damn robots man i'd be so pissed i'd be so pissed i'd be like get in there you fucking stupid robot are you too good for your home why won't you go home? Answer me, you damn cow. <laughs> I'll be pulling a happy Gilmore on these cows. All right, guys. Like I said, that's going to end my stream. Hope you all have a great night. I hope you all get a good night's sleep. I hope you all enjoyed the Madden content. I hate to love you and leave you, but I'm going to dip like a potato chip. Peace out, everybody. I'll catch you next time.